a tent behind me. That's the registration booth. So I got a shirt I'm going to show you in just a little minute. Uh, minute. It says, be bold, be fearless, be more. It is a, a shirt for survivors. You'll see plenty of those here today at the Race for the Cure. And notice we've got a number of other tents throughout the parking lot here near Comerica Park. And in order to get those tents up, as you might imagine with all the wind, we've got workers and volunteers who have been here uh, really all night long trying to make it happen. Brian, the race director, uh, standing next to the Tiger, also sporting pink in uh, honor of today's race for the cure. I, I know this has been hard work, but you got it all ready to go and ready for people to come and race. We do. We have such fantastic support from our volunteers. Our organization is, is very grassroots, and so the Detroit community has embraced us and what this event means for raising funds and education and awareness for breast cancer research. Uh, it all happens one day a year right here today for Race for the Cure. And, and you have m massive crowds every year. What are you yeah. expecting this year? Hopefully around 25,000. Uh, I think we're lucking out with the weather after a tough day yesterday, and I think even tomorrow is looking kind of rough. So that usually means good things for us. And everything starts at 7 o'clock for registration with the walk itself uh, and run walk beginning at 9 o'clock. So there's still time to get down here and get to be a part of the day. And you're looking at some of the tents and uh, you have a, a vendor section where people can kind of walk around and get education, play some games, perhaps get information. We're near the Fox Theater, Comerica Park. So the Race for the Cure itself, it's a 5K. You yes. can either walk or run yeah. and it's a, a pretty neat walk run because you are in the midst of it all by the Fillmore, the Fox, Comerica Park. Tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely, yeah. A, a big highlight, we'll, we'll head over like toward the Eastern Market on Gratiot Avenue. And then a lot of people, this is the second year we've done this route, we go down to the Duquinder Cut Greenway. And Ooh, after the race from pretty. last year, yeah, people were like, I never knew that was there. I never experienced how great that was. So we brought it back and then we make our way on Lafayette and head back to the finish right here on uh, Adams at Comerica Park. So really happy with how the course is. People seem to enjoy it. It's just part of a great day. Okay, pink, of course, the color for breast cancer awareness. And if you forgot your pink, you can't find your pink because maybe you don't have power. Like I didn't at my house this morning. And you're like, where is all my pink stuff? Um, they do have pink and purple shirts. This one, of course, for survivors. Yeah. But yours says the same thing. Be bold, be fearless, be more. Is that year, is this this year's slogan? That is, yeah. Actually, in fall of 2016, Komen decided to do a, a slogan called More Than Pink, just saying that we're more than just the pink ribbon. We are education and research and fundraising. There's so much more to our organization, and those shirts reflect that message. Fantastic. We'll be live out here all morning long. You can come on, join us. We're downtown in front of Comerica Park. Back to you.